Hey everyone, it's Cinema Lovers Incorporated, back to you again with another video, and I have to keep it down a little bit because my family is sleeping, but who gives a crap, it's all about you losers out there, just kidding, fans. Uh, I'm super happy to report today I'm reviewing Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark now. As you guys know, I am an alpha, alpha male, um, I bash movies, I'm just kidding, um, I love movies, you know, I, I just love them served up classic style and they better be good because I will be disappointed. I'm one of those guys that will heavily crit criticize a film. I mean, if you go watch my Toy Story 4 review, you will understand what I'm talking about here. Uh, I thought that was a horrible movie. Today, I'm, I am reviewing Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Now, I saw this movie a couple months ago. And what do I, t what do I think of the, thi of the film? Uh, actually, I think it's actually a lot of fun. Now, the movie does have some problems, um, especially towards the end, but I love the setting. I really like the characters. I think this is a female to character done right. She goes through struggles. She goes through problems. She's, she's crying, and she's not perfect. She She's had a lot of bad crap happen to her. I, I love the characters, most of them. Um, great setting, great effects. Um, most of the monsters look great. I love how they effectively added these monsters into the scenes not a lot of gross out gore in my opinion i think it's just about right now the the pus scene is a little too much but hey what can you do it's all right i guess it's nothing like it chapter two you know it chapter two kind of reminds me of this movie but a far worse version of this movie which is kind of weird uh scary stories to tell in the dark is about this this group of teenagers and they discover a book and the book uh unleashes different monsters i don't want to give all of it away but I think it's really cool and interesting. Now, the, the problem is with this movie is some of the cast is just boring. I, I think the, the guy going to Vietnam, he's just this plain kind of big guy that, you know, the, the young teen falls in love with. Um, and especially towards the end, the, the whole idea with the ghost, her killing people um, because they didn't like her and blah, 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 made the book. I think it became really convoluted and messy and disjointed. You go from this real fun thriller horror film where they're being hunted down by monsters to this like deep thought provoking movie where I just, I feel like it, it, it goes off course and I know they needed this epic big finale, but I just, I felt like it just came crumbling down to much and too fast. Um, yeah, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I wanted to give this a quick review. I think it's a really fun Halloween movie. You guys will enjoy it. It's uh, it's not the greatest film. It's good. I enjoy the movie. It's just the dialogue's a little messy around the edges, especially near the end. It feels like they're trying to set up the sequel, and, and they're just trying way too hard. It feels like one of those teen movies where we're going to do this. We're going to get them out of the book and blah, blah, blah. It kind of reminds me of Maze Runner, Hunger Games, stuff like that. So, yeah, that kind of ruined the movie for me, but... Uh, nevertheless, I enjoy the creature design, the music, the atmosphere, most of the characters. Great movie, great Halloween fun. Watch it this Halloween. You're going to have a great time. Leave a like, comment below, subscribe, whatever the heck you want to do, and goodbye. Bye, everyone.